All right, guys. Welcome back, our YouTube fishing family, to AFNS Outdoors. I'm Justin Lewis, and today we have been making some noodle sticks for catfishing. And my dad and I have been doing this for a couple hours now, and we've actually made 15 of these already. And I've been seeing some videos of these going around YouTube lately, uh, most notably by Lake Fort guy. And I thought I'd talk about these a little bit because we do these as well down here in Kansas. Um, we do a lot of bank fishing, a lot of set lining. So we're gonna be down here for a few days in Kansas. Um, and so we're gonna do a little bit of float lining, which is a little bit different than what you guys would have seen in like Lake Fort guys videos. And I'm saying his videos just because those are probably the most recent videos that I've seen. These are gonna be a little bit different. Again, because every state has different regulations. Um, in Iowa, we actually don't do this at all because Iowa has very strict regulations. If you put any of these out, they count as your actual fishing line. So if I were to put two of these out, that's it. Those are my rods. I cannot put any other like fishing poles in my hands that day at all. Um, whereas in the state of Kansas, where we're at currently, I can have up to eight of these per angler, um, which is the very kind of nice thing about it. However, unlike in the Lake Fort guy video where he left them out overnight, you cannot do that in Kansas. You have to be watching these at all times. You physically cannot leave these. And another difference is, and it was why these are called float lines, is you are not allowed to attach a weight to these. These are not allowed to be anchored to the ground at all because those are then considered set lines, which is something that we do a lot of um, growing up. We did set lines which have to be anchored to a minimum of a 25 pound weight. Um, we just did it some kind of an immovable object, um, a PVC pole anchored into the ground, um, some kind of a tree line, something of that nature, or we actually ran like trout lines um, across like part of the river, something of that nature. But in this video, we're gonna go out and we're gonna set some of these float lines um, and there's gonna be two of us. I think it's gonna be me and my dad one night, it might be me and my wife one night. Um, so we're actually gonna have like 16 of these. So it took us a couple hours. We got 15 of these put together. I'm gonna put the last one together for you guys to kind of see how it's a little bit different, um, very similar. But the main difference is, is that we're not gonna have the anchored rope at the end because again, that would not make it a float line. That would make it a set line according to the state of Kansas. So I'm gonna set these down and I, we're gonna show you guys how we set up ours for catfish here in Kansas. So first and foremost, uh, basically these are very inexpensive, which is kind of the great thing about it. Um, you guys do not need a whole lot. The most expensive and time consuming thing about this is the caps, which take some kind of like stainless steel eye bolt and washer. This is the most expensive part and the most time consuming part. And I went ahead and did this part already, but I'll go ahead and show it to you. You just drill, you take your PVC cap, drill a hole in it, run your stainless steel eye bolt through it and washer on each end and then tighten it down with your nut and put a little bit of silicone on there, which is what I've already done because that's the most time consuming portion of it. Other than that, take your piece of PVC. This is half inch PVC. You can get a 10 foot section of this for like $1.50. Very cheap, you can get a whole bunch of these made um, out of a 10 foot section. So we're gonna go ahead and prime both ends of this real quick. There's one end and the other. And go ahead and glue on our cap. And this is the cap that does not have the hole. So this will be the top part of our noodle here. So we cut down our PVC to 24 inches 
and then we cut down our noodles to 15 inches. I'm gonna go ahead and slide on the noodle. And then before we put on the other cap with the eye bolt, you need your weight. And what we did is we just took some rebar that we had lying around, or you can go to like one of your home improvement stores and just pick up a piece of rebar. This is actually half inch rebar. And then we cut these down to four inch pieces, which is plenty heavy enough to tip over these noodles so four inch piece of rebar goes in and then same process a little bit of glue <clears throat> yep that one's a little tight thank you get you a little mallet if you need it tap her on there and that is pretty much that so this noodle's got a little bit of play, and like some of the other videos where they show you guys how to make these, um, I think Cotton Top's got probably the best known video on how to make these. Um, you guys can glue the noodles on, um, especially if you don't find the smaller noodles, which we were able to find. But essentially, idea is put these out, they lay flat in the water, and we attach our lines and stuff, and we'll show you that here in a little bit when we actually go out and set these. Um, but they'll sit flat, Catfish comes along, takes your bait, comes down, that weight pops, the, pops these up, and you'll know right away whether you have a fish or not. So, pretty quick and easy. I think it was about a, I don't know, probably about a two hour process, but we got 16 of these made up this afternoon. So, had a good morning fishing, got a little bit warm, so we came home, got 16 of these guys made. We're going to head out this evening and put these out and hopefully we're going to find some catfish for you guys tonight on video. Alright guys, so a few hours later, um, everything is rigged up. So we got the lines on the noodles. Um, thing I love about these is they are pretty compact once you guys have them all done. Um, so I've got 16 here, um, carry them around in a bucket or a tub like this. So the tub I really like because it stores in the boat real nice. So I just tuck them in out of the way over here. But uh, we got our line put on. We use 50 pound mono for these. It attaches to a little swivel, um, 50 pound main line, little hook. You can use half ounce or I think these are three quarter ounce, just egg sinkers. I went ahead and pegged them where we wanted them and go to a five ounce circle hook. And that's pretty much that. We are on a body of water that we have not fished at all this year. The reason we are on this specific body of water, again, is entirely due to Kansas regulations with float lines. Kansas has specific bodies of water that you can do float lines in, and they have bodies of water that you cannot do float lines at all. Baits of choice tonight. We went out and we got TV bait shrimp. And by TV, that is apparently Texas variety bait shrimp because I've never actually seen these as on TV. We went and from our local bait and tackle shop, we got some giant shad. So we're gonna cut up some shad and give them some shad because we did not make it out early enough to go get our own shad. And then we have some bluegill that we are going to cut up and give them as well. So we're gonna try maybe a couple live bluegill mostly cut bait and some cut shad and some shrimp and see what works best tonight and if that doesn't work then maybe we'll try something else on another night and see what happens but good thing i think we have working in our favor is storm clouds are rolling in it is supposed to rain tomorrow so we are in pre-frontal conditions hopefully the catfish are going to be munching and right now what we are going to do is we are going to work the entire front side of the dam and again in the state of Kansas you are not allowed to leave these like I mentioned so we have to stay here and watch these um, that sun is going to go away pretty quick so we're going to be turning on the boat lights and watching but we also brought some kim sticks some glow sticks that we can fasten to the noodles as well and watch those noodles hopefully stand up when the catfish grab a hold of them we're gonna get rigged up and get some of these noodles tossed in and hopefully we'll end up with some catfish on the lines. Sits out just like that. Something comes up and takes it, that noodle should stand straight up. Three's right there. All the lines are out. No, we've got three more to set. Just checking the ones we got. 
four. This is number five. Noodle number one's got a fish on it. Alright, we're at like nine feet now. Can you see? Yeah, I can see you good now, back there. You can? So yeah, right. just stay there. I can't see anything, so I can't even tell what this has on it. Oh, it's a flathead. Uh-uh. Yeah, it's... It is... Indeed. It is... Oh, no, it's not. <gasps> Holy... It is a nice channel. I thought it was a flathead. It is a nice one. I'm gonna need my pliers. Yeah, I'm having a hard time telling if they're channels or blues, kind of in the dark, but Emily. I think that's a channel. Look at that circle hook though, right in the corner of the mouth, exactly where it should be. First noodle, <laughs> first catfish, look at that, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's awful dark, it's a nice channel cat, on our first noodle, the very first one we picked up. So, he's gonna go in the box because we're gonna do a little bit of catch and cook with him. But, nice, nice fish to start out with. On the very first noodle we pulled. Pretty pumped. This is noodle what, three? Yeah, second one had nothing on it. I know, this one was bouncing hard. channel cat look at that look at that one good good gravy and look at that hook placement can you put your light on that look at that hook those circle hooks right in the corner of that mouth exactly where you want them to be catfish is on the floor <laughs> look at that another beautiful channel cat and another one that is going in the live well. And we will see him in the morning. See ya, buddy. He pulled that entire noodle under. Yeah, my phone's right there if you need it for light. There you go. Get it, girl. Get him, girl. <laughs> nice channel, cat. Holy Look crap. at that. Like, he pulled the entire thing under the boat took it along the back of the boat, and you snagged him at the end of the boat. <laughs> he did get that noodle underwater for quite a while. Yeah, he got it completely under the boat, and he's not even hooked good. Look at this. Hang on. Watch your fingers. I am. Yeah, right in the corner of the mouth, right where he should be, though. That's perfect. I mean, not real good hooked, but, but right But he had it up corner. through the roof of his mouth, too. Yeah, just, and that's the only thing that saved us. But just right in the corner, right where it should be. Holy crap. That might be my biggest channel. And it's your first noodle fish. It is my first noodle fish. Yeah, I'm gonna grab him by the mouth too though, because All right, go ahead. I don't trust my ability with catfish because I don't catfish often. Look at that sucker. Look at that. <laughs> 
Good job, girl. Like, that's a nice chin. Holy crap! I don't know if I. Whoop. He gave me a little something to remember him by. I bet he did. Get a good grip. Look at that. <laughs> good job. Get him in that life well. Oh, in there. Good job. Oh, Look at that life well. We're getting some channel cats Let's in there. See. Yeah. A little, yeah. To, little love mark. That's right. Last one, guys, and it is up. I gotcha. Oh! oh. Another nice big channel. Man, channels are on fire tonight. Oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. You might be the biggest one of the night. Yes. I can't even get my hand around it. <laughs> Literally. <gasps> oh, shit. Can't get my hand around it. I'm trying to be careful. There we go. Look at that. Holy smokes. Look at that. And come get come get a look at this hook placement again. I know I've said it over and over again, but look at that hook placement. Right in the corner of the mouth. Look how fat that catfish is. No wonder he was pulling this whole noodle under. That is a big catfish. Not a giant, but a big catfish. There we go guys, check out that catfish right there. I'm telling you what, if you guys can do this in your state, get out there and do it. It is a ton of fun. We come down here and do it in Kansas because the laws are a little bit nicer, a little less restrictive than our home state of Iowa, um, which is nice. Um, you can come out, you can have a little bit more fun doing it, and it is a great time. So, like I said, there's two of us, we can put out 16, we put out 13, and got four nice channels like this one, which is perfect um, for one night. We are gonna have a fish fry with some friends. This is an absolute blast. I hope you guys try it out if you guys can. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys click that like button. If you guys are new here, click that subscribe button. We are probably going to be doing this a little bit more often if you guys enjoyed the video, um, because we had a ton of fun. It's fun to chase after Mr. Whiskers every once in a while and get some of these guys in the boat. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Get all slimy too. That's always fun once in a while. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Click that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Tune in next week. We got new videos out every single week. We'll see you guys next time right here on AFNS Outdoors. That was a good catch.